Just Me, a place to be me, where you get to experience life. Life is a journey, not a guided tour. If you want the rainbow, you have to go through the rain. Hey, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for joining us again. Last week, we kind of recapped everything where we spoke about the things that we have inherited our core values from our moms or other caregivers that we've experienced growing up. Um, and so the next topic that we're going to kind of jump in, staying along the lines of what we have gotten from our mothers or any type of influential caregiver in our lives. Let's talk about relaxing. Let's talk about taking a pause. Let's talk about taking one minute or one day or one hour to reset. I know for me growing up, it was very challenging to understand what that was because I never saw my mother do it. And as an adult, those patterns, even though I convinced myself and told myself, you know, I'm not going to do things like my mom. I'm not going to do, I'm going to do different nuances um, differently than what my mom has done. Resting and really giving yourself time to take that break is something that I think is, has been a challenge, but a very educational challenge. Ms. Tracy, what do you have? I'm like you, I I never, I can't recall seeing my mother like take a break. She was always grinding, you know, whether it was, how do I do this for the house? How do I do this for the children? I, I fix this fire, put this fire out and here go another one, just moving, moving, moving. So like you, um, doing everything, that's, that's normal. Well, it was normal for me, but it's such a wear and tear on you when you really um, get a sit back, get a chance to sit back and look, you know, overworking, mm -hmm. doing too much, not getting enough sleep, doing too much. That is the story of most of our lives, especially if you're an African-American woman, you wear so many hats. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I work, I'm a cook, I'm a maid, I'm a this, I'm a that. And we do a doctor, yeah, a doctor. A nurse. <laughs> all of that, a banker. <laughs> we're doing all of that. But we're not resting. Mm -hmm. And then we wondering why we got all these wrinkles or lines in our face, why we don't got our edges. Why our weight goes this way and that way. Why we have these different health issues. And some of it is simply for lack of rest or doing like too much. And then the impact that it has on our brain. My, my, my brain is always moving, moving, moving constantly. Like, you know, we, I know when I had that battle with insomnia, ooh, you lay down and your mind's still working. Mm -hmm. You wake up tired because you're working out problems in your sleep. Brain just constantly going, 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 going. And say so even even now it's like um, I, I was this year. I went into this year like I'm only going to keep doing a handful of stuff, just a handful of stuff. And I was so proud of myself. I made it to the ninth month. And then like now when I look back, it was like, wow. I'm using my other hand to hold all the stuff and a leg <laughs> and a foot because I went from having a handful of stuff to a lot of things to do. And for me, I don't like having un things undone. So that makes it even worse. If I said I was going to get this done today and I don't get to complete it, ah. Uh, that's a long week. <laughs> yeah. That's a long night. What do you think some of the symptoms were that you recognized when you were going, 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 going? What do you think? How do you think that showed up in your body? Uh, my blood pressure is high now. I'm on a little blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. uh, eating habits changed. Yep. So um, we're not properly eating. 
because it's always like on the go or eating out and um, eating whatever they cook their stuff in <laughs> mm -hmm. that um, doesn't agree well with my body. So um, the fatigue, um, physical looks like you could look in the mirror and be like, oh, girl, don't look like you had no sleep in a couple of days. But I just got up. Right. I just get no rest. I know for me, it was like showing up to meetings, but my brain wasn't there. So my body was there. I was on that Zoom call. I was <laughs> there. I, you saw my face. You saw my smile. But my mind wasn't there. I was thinking about writing that grocery list because I know that I had to fix something to eat or I was thinking about making that phone call. So my mind was not presently at that Zoom call. And with everything being virtual, I've had Zoom calls back to back to back to back to back. And so it begins to happen where my body was showing up, but my mind wasn't. And and that's and that's what happens um, in relationships in life like we're not in the present. So how how can you pres how can you present something and not be in the present? Like if the if it's an issue that's happening now, but like you show up and you all somewhere else, my mind is I, I don't care what's going on, but the baby about to get hit by the car. My mind is somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Are those instances where, you know, you leave the the water boiling or the food on the stove too long? It's because your body showed up and you know you were cooking, but mm -hmm. you walked away for those five seconds to do something else. And literally because you have so much going on, you've burned the food or you forgot to put your car in park. Mm -hmm. Or you left I, your. I didn't, know, I didn't do the forgetting part thing, cause, uh, <laughs> but I know I didn't burn a whole lot of eggs trying to boil some eggs, or let water go out, mm -hmm. or turn on the bath because you're gonna take a break, and you forget about your break until the water stops dripping from the ceiling, mm -hmm. and then you go, "Oh my god!" and then you try to run upstairs. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that goes your relaxation. Because now you pissed off because you got to get up all of this water. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you noticed when you did take that time or carve out sections where you took that time to actually take those breaks? And what did those breaks look like? Okay. So a lot more clarity. Um. And I think that's probably the, the biggest one. I know a lot of times even like um, I know when I, when I have to read something, I'm like, you know, this hour ain't nothing going to stick. <laughs> it's it's not. I can sit here and read four hours. I ain't going to remember nothing. So I know I need to just close it, take a break. And then when I get up the next day or come back after that break, it's like I'm more refreshed. My mind is more open to um, to gather and retain what it is that I'm doing, reading, I guess if I'm reading at the time, and um, that more I'm more alert. Mm -hmm. um, probably less accident prone. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I, and, uh, I love in the a, uh, a military, we be like, Wusa, just Wusa. Like, take a break. Breathe, Tracy, breathe. Mm -hmm. Breathe. And that too, yeah, I talk about breathing. My pressure will go down. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. I know one of the things for me when I did kind of take a second and just stopped, I was actually able to notice how nice the change in colors are with the leaves. Mm. And it, it had gotten to that point um, when it was hard for me to sleep. It was hard for me to really take that time out and do things for myself. I was running on lots of energy drinks, but then when I really kind of took that stop moment, and for me, it was because I had to, um, I was a caregiver for a dog. Okay. <laughs> so I had to walk the dog every day, but during, when I was walking the dog, I was trying to multitask making phone calls, doing appointments for the car, doing appointments for different things like that. Um, 
But when I stopped multitasking and I just walked the dog and I just looked around, I was like, yo, fall season actually isn't that bad, minus the cold. These leaves is kind of cute out here. (laughs) But it was that simple clarity that I needed. Um, And again, I've learned from my mom that if you're not multitasking, then things aren't getting done. Right, right. And so I've just been conditioned to do that. Even though I was conditioned to do that, I was I'm now recognizing that that maybe isn't the healthiest conditioning to do for me. Right. And I think too, when we see the um the success of our our parent, our mom, that um like she was bad. Like she could do all that, sure, she could do it, I could do it, you know. Mm-hmm. Like and then when you when you feel like it's that challenge. Then you ask yourself, well, what's wrong with me? My mama was able to do it. Then mm-hmm. I, like, I should be able to do it. And then so you have that kind of like an internal conflict going on. But you got to know you. Yes. You got to know you. Mama was able to do it because mama didn't have X, Y, and Z. Mama was introduced to A, B, and C. Mm-hmm. You, however, got other things going on. So your experiences make a difference. And so now be based on your experience, how you respond, you can't respond like your mother. Mm-hmm. And if you try to respond like your mother, this is what you're getting. Cause this, this is not your makeup. So you, you have, you have to um, be true to you and know, know where your limit is. And if you don't know, like help, help your um, support system, <laughs> And help me identify some areas because you you know yo if you don't know you tie it your body gonna let you know you tie it because it will shut down for you yes and I, I like um growing up they say um you the first person that'll smell if you stink <laughs> nobody gotta tell you stink you gonna smell yourself first mm-hmm. nobody should have to tell you girl you look tired you've been getting any rest. Mm-hmm. Because if you sitting in the chair like I'm sitting right now or slumped to the side like, whoo, thinking my feet is in a recliner when I'm not. But I know my body is telling me, girl, you need a nap, a break, a rest. Don't do nothing. Just be still. Mm-hmm. But let the phone ring or let a text come through. Here I go. I got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Take your moment. And I think that we underestimate the amount of attention needed with our daily responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that next week with a, a concept of what's on my plate. Mm. We're going to look at exactly what we have going on, on our daily, in our daily lives. If you are a parent, 50%, if not more needs to be dedicated because it takes time to be that parent and be that present. So when you think about all of these identities that we carry, being a parent, being an employee or an employer, being a mom, um, excuse me, being a spouse, being an aunt, those four things right there. And if you have aging parents, being a caregiver, those five things, that those require a lot of attention, a lot of work. If you've had, if you're a new mom, had a new baby, you have to actually take care of your body in order to produce the milk, in order to make sure you're sustaining life for your child. So next week, we're going to talk about what exactly is all on our plates and how much time and energy are we truly allotting to these activities? And are they realistic? Are they realistic expectations or are we putting too much on our plate and expecting amazing results with unrealistic expectations? So thank you guys so much for checking in with us. And until next time, take care of yourself so that we can definitely take care of each other. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to Just Me Therapy podcast. If you are seeking further one-on-one diagnoses, interventions, and treatment plans, please consider scheduling an appointment 
with an individual counselor at Journeys Counseling Center, located in Greensboro, North Carolina. Journeys can be reached at 336-294-1349. The mission of Just Me Therapy podcast is to use authentic conversations to uplift one's mind, body, and soul. The goal of Just Me Therapy is to offer affordable education and insight to individuals who experience financial barriers to accessing individualized behavioral health care services. With that being said, the information, including opinions, advice, and recommendations discussed in this podcast are intended for individual, informational, and educational purposes only. Such information is not intended to substitute the recommendations of your own licensed therapist or healthcare professional. Although we are licensed behavioral health professionals, we are not your licensed behavioral health professional. As a result, the advice mentioned on this podcast should not replace the recommendations offered by your own qualified health professional.